What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing Mars squared Saturn in the natal birth chart. So this is anybody who has Mars squared Saturn or anybody that knows someone that has Mars squared Saturn in their birth chart. So first we're going to break down what Mars is all about. So, traditionally, Mars rules over the first house in the middle birth chart. Mars is linked to Aries. Mars is about aggression. It's about power. It's about control. It has a lot to deal with aggression. All right? Um, but it does have to deal with taking action and being action-orientated, being a warrior, being a fighter, being a soldier, um, being a lieutenant, not backing down from situations, standing up, speaking out being blunt, being thorough, okay? This is what Mars is all about. Also, Mars has to deal with um, raw sexual energy. So, it's a lot going on with Mars, but it is about taking action, okay? And not backing down, standing on your grounds. So, Saturn. Saturn is traditionally linked to the 10th house in the natal birth chart. Okay, and it is linked to Capricorn. Capricorn is linked to Saturn. So when you think about Saturn, Saturn is about restriction. It's about limitations. It's about blessings and rewards, but later on in life. So this has to deal with obstacles. This has to deal with struggle. This has to deal with practice. Okay, um, however, wherever Saturn is placed in your natal birth chart, um, sign or house, that is going to be the area that you struggled in the most coming up, okay? After your Saturn return, which is about the age of 27 to about 30. Yeah, about 30. Um, that will be the area that you will be able to master in your life, okay? Sign-wise as well as house-wise. So now, um, Saturn also has to deal with lessons, okay? Life lessons, if I did not say that. So it's about a learning process and it has to deal with karma, okay, things that you did in your past life and why you're being presented with these things in your life. So when you see this, this is actually an aspect of um, Mars square Saturn. Squares have to deal with conflicts, okay? So whatever sign your Mars is in and whatever sign your Saturn is in, it is indicating that there is a conflict within these signs um, as far as, um, within these planets as far as signs which is going to indicate that there is a conflict going on with inside of you, okay? Because this is what's in you. So we're going to jump into this right now. So you can be callous and harsh and usually won't go out of your way for others unless you gain from it. These people's actions are frequently frustrating, leading to negativity and resentment. And you must overcome these things. Okay, so these people are quite often annoyed. They're frustrated. Um, they're upset. They're aggravated. Okay, um, this can be due to several different things. Definitely, um, this will be an indication that with the Mars square Saturn, that these people did struggle with power issues, with um, power and control when they were young. So you can be physically violent or a victim of the same, or suffer from an early loss of a parent, okay? Now, I do know people with this placement, okay? I know a couple of people, and off the top of my head, I could think of five, okay? Um, when it comes to being physically violent, some of the people with this placement are. Some of these people with this placement are not violent, okay? However, when it comes to being a victim of the same thing, yes okay so it does ping pong back and forth you could be the violent person or you can have somebody being violent to you or you had somebody being violent to you and later on you became fucking violent see what i'm saying um just going back into um this whole thing anyway um there will be conflict and hardship okay when it comes to their will all right, transformation is something that has to take place. That's something that needs to be needed, okay? So conflict and hardship will transform your consciousness and redeem your past and willingness to take discipline will set your soul free, okay? So 
taking back what they have lost when they were young, whatever that was. Some people might have been sexually abused and sexually molested, okay? And they're taking their power back now, taking their um, hardship into um, pleasurable moments, okay? Taking their pain into power. See what I'm saying? But these people could have lost somebody in their life, um, and it could have been a parent early on in life. Now, let's say that um, maybe somebody with this placement was adopted, okay, or was in foster care, or foster home, okay. They're not with their parent. Their parent didn't die, but they're not with their parent, okay. Um, maybe their parent was stripped away from them. Maybe their parent um, wasn't able to raise them, and maybe the grandmother raised them, okay. So they don't know what's going on and things like that. Until later on in life, then they do know. Okay, but some people's parents might have, one of their parents might have passed away very early on in their life. Or it felt premature to the child, whatever age that may have been. So these women and men may also experience physical hardship, broken bones, and accidents, often in the workplace. Where harsh and dirty or even dangerous conditions exist, possibly even result in, in your death. So these people have to take caution. They have to be cautious, um, especially in their work environments where they decide that they want to um, start their businesses at. If they're um, owners of businesses, entrepreneurs, they need to really um, pinpoint the whole workplace area because it could be some things that they're not tending to um, and they can get hurt on the job. Dangerous things can happen. Dangerous conditions. Maybe it's mold in the goddamn building. And that, now that's a health issue. You see what I'm saying? Something just as small as that. You will have health problems related to the sign of your Mars and Saturn. Okay, so you need to check for that. Um, whoever has this in their chart, I know somebody with it. Look towards their Mars sign. Look towards their Saturn sign. Okay, in their natal birth chart. Somebody might have Mars. Um... In Cancer, they have Saturn in Libra. See what I'm saying? So you just got to um, take a look at it. So these people have a difficult time relating to others, especially in partnerships and also marriages, and are prone to make enemies due to your lack of gentleness, patience, and kindness. These people need to learn gentleness. They need to learn patience, and they need to learn how to be more kind. Okay, this could be the lesson that they are here um, learning on this earth. Okay, learning how to be more compassionate. Okay, instead of judgmental and, and criticizing and things like that. So you must become loving and compassionate instead of passing judgment or criticizing other people. Since you alternate, okay, since you alternate between aggression and apathy. You may be severely restricted in your career, which often involves politics or the military. Your actions are not well regulated or properly directed, and you lack a sense of sustained purpose. Okay, these people need to chill out. These people need to relax, okay? Um, these could be the serious types of people. When you're looking at Mars squared Saturn, um, this can be... An interpretation of um, Mars in Capricorn, but more of the um, obstacle side, more of the difficult aspects of it. See what I'm saying? So you got to look at this. These people are going to be about order and structure, okay, control, power. So this is what can make them aggressive. This is what can make them violent, okay? You often fail to follow through on projects. You start, often gaining a reputation for being lazy or unreliable. These people have delayed gratifications. These people often have a weaker will, which reduces their stamina. They should learn how to deal with life. These people need to learn how to deal with life. They need to say, hey, you know what? Fuck it. You know what? I know I'm impatient, but I'm going to have to learn patience. I know I'm not so kind at times. I'm going to have to learn kindness. I know I'm not gentle sometimes, but sometimes I have to be gentle. These people can give people um, rough love, tough love. You see what I'm saying? A lot. Not really um, trusting of people, getting frustrated all the time, feeling um, a feeling of resentment towards things and people and circumstances and situations that go on and take place. 
okay? These people need to find what their purpose is in life, okay? Um, yes, it could be involved in politics or the military and things like that, okay? But these people have to stop um, being so critical when it comes to other people and their flaws because everybody has them, okay? So I'm going to leave this on this note for now. In future videos to come, I'll go more into depth into Mars, Squared, Saturn, and the natal birth chart. Anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free. Anybody want to get their chart analyzed, please hit me up. This is a force of nature. Spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you in the next one.